Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to Lonzi's Loggers here. I just want to show you a few things now. So I have been idling a little bit to get it going to get all of the advanced stuff done. So as you can see, we have 13 bots. Now I have set up all of this power section here. So we left this, it wasn't good to go, was it? So we've actually got the number cruncher back in now. We've got the bot control tower over here using some science. And we have got bots in quite a few things now. So we're running bots through here. We've got the charging stations along here. So three there plus all these here. And I've also added this in the end. I moved this out one as well. This is in fact waiting for a bot that we're building. So we'll have 14 bots. And we set that one to soybeans because, yes, I made some room. So I deleted out a fair bit of kohlrabi. And we now have some soybeans. So we're pretty much there. As you can see, we did hit 34, I think, on some of them. So absolutely flying. This is also a massive thing that I did whilst waiting. So I'll show you through this now. And yes, that's right. The wind tunnel is up there. We built this little platform here. We got rid of that. We built a platform there to make it work. And... Uh, once that goes, we'll be turning that off and leaving those for now. Haven't touched anything else, and we've left all this pretty good. I've done a little bit of decorating, which I'll show you in a moment as well. But we started to get a load of stuff into the mine, so we've got loads of logs now. Um, treated planks are halfway there. Gears are getting there, and logs are there. We're not actually going to need this, though, but I'm going to get it done anyway. So we've had to do some weird thing with the power. We've come out of the bot factory here, so we've got three stacked bot, bot parts here. All of them turned off at the moment. I've powered it along here. Gone down in to get another engine over here. And then the wind tunnel. So, that's 400 on its own though. So, it's going to cost us an absolute fortune. But we did have to do a bit of trickery to get it there. Did quite well, but we built this one platform. So, that is where we're at over here. I, as you can see, have reduced kohlrabi massively. Because I don't actually eat it once they've got the other stuff. So, we've got loads of like fermented mushrooms on the go now because we have storage for it. We've got plenty of all this, as you can see 1.3k algae, 1.2k corn, 1.2k eggplant, 1.3k <laughs> loads. We're good. And 5k water, pretty much as well. We've got full coffee, full water, bad water, full everything. Um, just gears at the moment is costing us a while, a bit of a fortune as well. And loads of wood ready to be cut down, as well as these guys. And I've put bots into the wood choppers as well and things like that so they are kind of running efficiently and a lot more canola on the go up here as you can see as well all in all pretty good i did demolish out a little bit and tidied up this so it's now kind of clean cut and i added in a tiny little bench area which is quite funny we did uh, just a couple of benches and some braziers in here but we're on 1.7k on the science so we're going to be going into a little bit more of the well-being so the one we can't do is the mud bath but we are going to go into monuments and i want the flame of unity we've got a good spot somewhere around here to be fair there's not much room we've got a little bit of space here if we wanted to also get something in maybe another medical bed or something but we don't need it at the moment and we're only now using three adult breeding pods we're not going to get any more we're actually just we don't need any more they're kind of just chilling because the bots are taking over on work now so looking pretty good power not the best we're just under so once once we have this other engine we are perfect but we are going to need something else and i haven't quite figured out what i'm going to do so i'm not sure whether to attach another engine here but we would have to eliminate a lot of this farmland so i'm not quite sure whether i want to do that just yet it's definitely an option and there's a couple of like little squares where we could fill it out i'm not going to touch this though because it actually took some effort to get to this position so i'm going to let them finish that bot and we're kind of like toggle it on when we need it but most of these buildings have bots in. So bots all along here, as you can see, it's blue. Meaning there's a bot in there, I believe. Um, and also over here. So we've got one in the woodwork shop. We've got these guys on the go. It's it's looking nice. I'm very happy with it. So we are going to just beautify it a little bit. And I think like decoration wise, we could get like uh, one of these guys in here as well. That will cover from that bit. So I'm going to stick one there. Uh, clocks we've got on the go. I would like to get two clocks up on here, in all fairness. Or maybe even four. I think that would look really cool. Like that. But it's getting up to it to build them. That's the problem. So we're going to have to try and figure that out. Though it's pretty straightforward, actually, to get these in. So there we go. I think I've already sussed it. I should be able to make use with that. We might just need to go up the stairs here. So we will try that. Get this little bit in. Let's see if that will then be buildable with all this in. 
We'll have to see. And then we'll have to try and do something around the back again as well. I could just path that all the way around. Can't put that on top of breeding pods though. So there's no real way for me to be able to do it other than going maybe here and then staring up. And there it is. We've got our next 14th bot in. So we, we are currently occupying 14 slots of that anyway. Um, if I wanted to, I could get a couple more breeding pods in and just fill up anyway, maybe. I might just do that. Uh, it's kind of just finding where to put them. We've got a bit of space over here. And I could utilize some of this space. I don't know. We could also utilize bringing that up as well. But at the moment, it's not too bad. I think I have a bit of an idea, actually. So I'm going to do this. It'll be a bit weird, but we're going to do it. I think that's quite cool. We'll allow three uh, large breeding pods in there as well. I quite like that, actually. That's super cool. Yeah, we're letting that go. We've got almost this engine almost done as well, so that should be good. I think with all this set up, though, we should be pretty good. Yeah, so our power supply and demand is pretty much equal. Again, I've got bots in all of these, so we're not, we're not having to worry about that at all. But yeah, I am desperate to see this. The engine is now in, then. Um, I'm tempted... With that engine, we might be able to... So all I need at the moment is the limbs one being turned on. So that is the bottom one. I'm going to turn that one on. It costs gears, though. Um, we've got no place to, obviously, ramp up the gears. Now, before this hits, I am going to go and do this real quick. We are full again. That should be fine. Uh, the One issue is this little bit here is, isn't affected by this water that we let out either. But we have so many now. I would love to get more storage stacked up and keep going but i don't think we can 2k on the uh, science though going up a lot slower with just the number crunch because this uses three per hour as well so this is actually only producing seven per hour i say only that's the same as seven inventors so it's still pretty good we're in cycle 27 so once this is done cycle 28 so i did go through pretty much two cycles um whilst kind of collecting getting everything back on track and readjusting so i hope you like what i've done so far i think it's pretty cool uh, I'm not going to change this. I quite like the obscurity of it all, in all fairness. And I kind of like this. The only other thing we could do is also deepen this section here as well. We could change that, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to leave it as is. I definitely want to get some more dynamite on those two, though. And we'll clear that. Is that a, That's a double anyway. So let's, let's change that up. Let's make sure we can get the double in there. Much nicer. And that adds a couple more squares of water, doesn't it? So that's fine. And if I want, like I say, if I if I really wanted to, I could block it off under there and do it this way. I'd like that to be reachable from here. It's an un unfortunate event that it isn't. But we can change that once this one's built. We can actually layer this up somehow. So let's see. Still not reachable. That's fine. That one's a tough one to get up to. All right, they can definitely reach that clock. We might just have to have the... Uh, well, we'll get that one in and then I'll remove this and see where we're at after that. Done it again, guys. Oh my god, everything is dead. Oh no, I'm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I'm such an idiot, such an idiot. So I've pretty much killed off all my stock right now, but that that's okay. I think we've got enough to uh, regenerate. I'm going to allow them to just pump the water out here. That's really really frustrating. Probably we've got the healing pod there anyway, so that's okay. Uh, we're good on quite a lot of it because of having the water pumps in anyway a little bit frustrating about our soybeans again not concentrating so apologies now we have a little square in here as well that i could potentially do something with i'm just going to quickly check the monument size so we could get when we get the flame of unity i think i want one up on here though although tribute of ingen ingenuity should probably go up here where we can attach power to it somehow I still haven't figured out how i'm going to do that because this is i think i can see a way by doing this we are going to get the big statue up here 12,000 research points so that's going to be like our end goal i guess this looks so ugly when it all dies doesn't it well at least we're okay with some of the food oh god it's done guys look it is done i did not see that oh you absolute beauties 37 on this 38 you little legends oh my god that is so cool Oh, I'm so happy about that. We do need more power, though. I need to find a way of getting another engine in. I haven't quite figured out how to do the path here, because I could probably close to squeezing another one, but not quite. So uh, all we've got left to do is get these breeding pods done, get the mine in, and then it's going to be all of our thingies here. 39! Oh, they love the wind tunnel, man. Ah, oh, so happy. 
Right, let's take a let's take a bit of a, a tour around here. I think this settlement's absolutely awesome. Like I'm to the point where I'm really, really happy with it. Like I, I wasn't feeling like this in the last time I played because I, I just didn't figure it out properly and didn't know what I was doing. So now yeah, I'm very happy with that. Next is just the clocks. Let's get that one prioritized. Oh, it's done. Right, cool. Let's go ahead and destroy this stuff out. I think I got it. So we're going to go like that and then round like that. And then we'll get this other one built and then I can remove that as well. Cool. And then I've got to try and figure out how to do the next one. I think I can do something similar. I don't know if you can get the thingies on top of those. And there it is, our next clock. So we can go ahead and continue on with this now. Uh, I don't know. You know what? If we were being sensible, we could just use this path and go along that way. So if I just do that. Yeah, that works. Let's just let's just utilize what we already have in place and let's go like that. Would be kind of cool. We whilst we're here, we could potentially build on top of these middle parts. I'm not sure if we could. If we put something in there, will it work? Let's let's see. No, it's not reachable. So there's no possible way for us to get to the middle bit, only the edge pieces. No, that one's not going to work then. I'd like to... I would sacrifice this one piece to be able to uh, do something with this. I'm going to do that. Let's see if we can get that working. I think it would have to go like that, and then we'd get another one. I think it would be a... We'd have to go two. I would like to go down to... Look at this. We're going to have a full circle where they can get up to this a bit quicker as well. Is that even... This might be... This. I think this is just cool do it right we're back in business over here though so we are actually gonna go ahead and allow that to be built like that so we're gonna need nothing actually so let's get this back in business you down you up let's get our water back let's flush all this junk out all right all of our clocks are done i'm gonna clear all this out and i'll show you in a second all right there we go obviously it's messy with all of our other stuff oh we let we missed one let's get rid of that as well and then I want to show you what we've got set up the other end as well for our path. But that is it. We've got the four clocks on. Super, super cool. We're on 34 well-being overall, but some are some are ridiculously high. So some are on 37. 42. 42. 43. Holy crap. 44. We're not working them very much. So yeah, they're absolutely loving life. So I've got this little setup here. So I've taken out two little ones there. We're utilizing bridges as much as we can to not have to take over the crops here. I think that was a, a good little ploy. But we're going to get all this in. It's going to cost a fair bit. But it gives us good use of the metal that we've got. And we are still smelting some. Or did I turn it off actually? I think I turned it off. So we might want to turn that back on. Because we've got a lot of bridges to do. These all cost yeah, 50, 150, 200. And we're good there. That needs 150 planks. But all in all, yeah, pretty pretty damn solid. So that's going to look super cool when we got the bridge around, I think. And uh, yeah, it did cost us because I unlocked all the bridges whilst I was playing around with it. And they did cost us a fair bit of uh, science points. But that's okay. And the rest is going to go into these. That is 400 gears. But we should be able to save up a fair few. 600 horsepower as well. Pretty nasty. All right, I think... With what we're doing here, one of the other things we can get in is going to be large water wheels. Now, we're going to have to sacrifice some coffee here, but I don't think it matters because, to be honest, we are not using any of this stuff here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and demolish out all of these smaller water wheels because, through it, let's get it done. Let's get all of this out. And we are going to also mark that one out going to get this bit cleared and I'm going to put in large water wheels. Now we're going to need levees on there, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'll do something like that. Let's also demolish these guys out. We'll figure out the power requirements afterwards. We've got space to kind of do this right now and let's get a levee on top of there as well. I'm not sure if it's going to be needed, but again, what I should have done was put the dam in here as well, but that's okay. We've got power to keep us moving at least. If we were going to make proper use of this, we do need to clear out this dam. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it's going to take some doing here, I think. What we're going to do is that. And then we're going to go... Our large water wheel is going to go there. And then we're going to fit... Can I fit it there? I can. We just need to get rid of that. So that's fine. Let's get that prioritized then. I'm clearing that bad boy out. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. 
All right, look at those beavers are happier than ever. Average of 40 now. I want to get a builder's hut in, but yeah, I'm very, very impressed by that, man. Holy crap. So, if I put... I'm going to get rid of that lantern. That is the most pointless thing ever. I'm going to get rid of this gather, gather a flag for now. And we are going to put in a builder's hut right here. Make use of that. And then I'm going to put the gatherer flag back down here. That should still reach all of them just fine. And that's all we need to cover. And I'm going to make sure that does have the jobs. Now, we are making some more. We've had to reduce down what we were doing here. Catch back up on the wood. Because I had a bot that was meant to be assigned to this. But we didn't have any. Because they failed. That's okay. The wheels are going in. We're almost there. And uh, these, obviously, yep. Look at the power output on this thing. Holy crap, why is that so good? <laughs> Didn't even know why that's so good, but we'll take it. And the dam has been rebuilt over here as well, so we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to just assign priority to those. Hopefully they'll use them for some things. Logs and water, so... All right, we've just been hit by a drought as well, but we're doing okay. Look at this. So we are almost there on our bridges too. I love this little project. It's super cool. Um, drought should be fine. I'm going to turn off one of these. It's only six days anyway. Um, obviously, we're not going to get power from these guys, but it gives us a good chance to catch this one up. That one now is part of the grid, so our demand's pretty high with these guys running. All right, guys, we've officially finished the little uh, water wheel project here just in time for the new cycle as well. So we should see the water, wow, well, once it's filled up. It takes a little while to fill our tank here. But that's going to go in. What we're, we should see is, well, I'm guessing another 700 power from these big boys here. Um, I've put in, by the way, so biggest issue we have we've run out of tree we've run out of pine but we're almost about to get some more again i've got this as a pine resin storage right there it fits perfectly so i put in removed and tidied up a little bit and we can go on top of that now if we wanted to as well for any other kind of storage so i've kind of freed up a bit of storage space for us there which is nice i've also got breeding pods bar one on the go over here now you might see these flood temporarily but i think the breeding pods are killing these two here so I think we'll need to remove these guys because having the breeding pods next to that is, it looks like it's killing it anyway. So we might need to put something else there. I could raise it up one, but we, we're not running with any dirt at the moment. We've always got this as well. We're, li we're literally waiting on the bridge, which we need more metal for, and this little bridge as well. But that one doesn't take metal, so... We are still going with it though, and I will be unlocking more when we've got the beavers. We've run out of limbs, so I'm probably actually going to make use of that. So we've got we've got 11 heads. We could probably go bot limbs and turn that one on as well. I'll just have two of them making limbs. Obviously it takes three, is it, per... Sorry, four makes sense. Legs and arms, right? Per bot, so... You kind of need a, a four to one ratio of those, really. Uh, in, in your production chain, so I should just leave two on them and switch to the other guys. It's fine, but there we go. Wheels fully in motion now. Look at this. These are giving off insane amounts, and I think... I don't know why they're giving out way more than this, but I guess the water flows a little bit quicker than the bad water. I'm not sure why. It may be down to a dam-related thing, which is something you could factor in. Um, again, that duo one isn't doing anything either. These These... Produce a good amount, but yeah, 550 or so on these. Look at that now. We've got a lot on at the moment, but it does come up to probably 3k, which is pretty nice. Uh, we're hammering, hammering out the number cruncher now, so I'm going to get the Flame of Unity in. And I think I want it over here. It's a massive, massive one, so it does hit a lot of stuff here. Um, although it would make more sense, in all fairness, to destroy out my little section in here replace this up the other end we're gonna have to work out how we're gonna path around it but don't worry about that just yet let's see this thing will fit if i do that let's bin out both of these and let's go path here it's a bit like yep let's go like that and then we'll get it in boom so i'm not sure obviously you can't see it very well it'd be nice to have it up high we could put it up on there instead have it sticking up and then get the labor monument there. But I think that's going to cover so much by having that alert. It's pretty much everything. But it does go well there. And that should get our well-being up even more. And then the next one's this. 12,000 that costs though. Before you know it, we've just got a ridiculous amount of limbs now. And uh, we should be able to turn on the bot chassis one now as well. That's going to use a like a stupid amount of power. But I don't see how else we could do it. And there's no other way. I could. Right, here's something we could do. 
right? We could squeeze an engine on here, and I think we could make this work. So all we need to do is be able to get the power to come to this, right? So like this, I think is worth doing. Uh, let's let's demolish that one out. I know we're going to waste the coffee bush, but that's okay. Let's get that one prioritized. I think this is important. I think we might need to also get rid of that one. Let's do that as well. Get that one prioritized. Let's go land, like let's get one of these. It's a two a two jobby. Get rid of that one, please, mate, so I can come around the corner. And then what we'll need to do. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work from there. Well, we might need to come across to this. The only way we... Yeah, because all these are going up only, aren't they? Okay, so we'll need to come along here. I can get away with demolishing these. We're not using these this, this these at all. So I, I think I can just go to here. If we go... Ah, he's already taken that, so we'll leave that. We go two, one, one. We might have to come to this one then. Get those prioritized. All right, let's take this one out. Let's put a... Freeway like that. Then we'll need that. No, we may as well do it on platforms here like that. But let's get that one prioritized. All right, already in. Perfect. And then we're going to go along like this. And then we're going to bring this up all the way. So I also need a double there. Oh, man, we're going to need this engine is going to come in pretty clutch, though, I think. There we go. All of that. Get that engine on the go. The only thing we need to do is then get them pathed up. So this shouldn't be too bad based on what we have here. So we'll just need... Uh, where can I take this to? There we go. So we're going to have to cover all the way over here. It'll be worth it though. Um, we like that. We don't need that one. Spin that one out. Spin that one out. Utilizing and finding space wherever we can. That should be fine though. And I can attach it to the already existing path. Get another engine on the go. There's three engines. That still won't be enough, but we will be turning off the bots again. Every I got to squeeze them in wherever I can, you know. And how's this looking? Oh, that's almost in as well. All right, we we really need metal now. Not concerned about treated planks. So I am going to turn that one off. We'll keep the one with the bot in. That's fine. Um, are we making more? How are we looking? That's fine. Because we're back actually down to 58 now, but the population should boost up now. Because we have. A few breeding, so we've got six in total, so we will be getting more population. Not that we need it, we are okay for jobs at the moment, so. Right, I got an epic idea. I have a really, really epic idea. Look at what I'm doing. So I'm going to fill up all of this. We're going to get some engines along here, right? This is going to work out really, really well, and this should be really straightforward to uh, get set up. So once they've cleared these, two there. Hmm. Annoying that I can't get a third here. I am tempted, so tempted to move that path around. Um, we could also continue it on here. So all we need to do is figure out how the hell we're going to path this up here. I think we've got to try and bring it this way. So let's work on that. Let's get the foundation set for it at least. Like so. Uh, we might need to come... Yeah, I think that's the only way we're going to do it. So let's try. let me try and figure this out. Right, there we have it, guys. We have the foundation for some more engines. And then I'm going to hopefully fit them on here. I like it. I think that's pretty pointless there. We could utilize that space too. I may even be able to get some more engines over here. But let's go with that. Three more there should be really good. But guys, that is going to be where I end this one out. So if you have enjoyed, please do smash that thumbs up for me. If you are enjoying, please do consider subbing as well. And drop a little hello in the comments. If you want to support me that little bit extra, do consider becoming a member of the channel as well. And we also have a new Patreon open. As always, guys, take it easy. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.